Um, so just a little extra maintenance um, area here while uh, the air box is off is uh, the air suction valves. Um, this is just, I believe it's just for emissions only. Um, not 100% sure what it does, but um, but it states in the manual just to um, to check the condition of the valve. Um, basically, it's just two screws that hold it on, and uh, this pop this just comes right off. And the valves are right there, and this lifts right out as a whole assembly. Um, and from the looks of it, it's pretty dirty. Um, you can see all the carbon build up um, all in there. So I guess it's meant to be like that. Um, so the manual states to just um, inspect it. To, you know, nothing, nothing's out of place. No cracks, no uh, warpage, and then just give it a very general cleaning. And um, all I'm using is, uh, we're going to be using is brake cleaner. So I sprayed it down with uh, brake cleaner. Um, just uh, be careful when handling this not to bend the valves um, or the reeds right there because uh, they seem pretty delicate. They're really, they're just really thin pieces of metal. And um, I also cleaned out the interior of of that as well. Um, before installing it, make sure the uh, outer edges are clean as well. So when you go back and install it, there aren't any air leaks. Before I attach the air box back down to the uh, throttle bodies, uh, I just wanted to show the uh, um, mechanism on um, how this thing gets held on. So it's just one bolt that goes through uh, two clamps. Um, so initially I said not to remove the screw. Um, so this is the reason why. It just makes life easier. Because if you remove the screw, um, this little pin here will drop out into the engine. Um, and you don't know, and you might not find it again. Um, so yeah, this is how the mechanism works. Okay, so back to the air filter. I'm just going to be oiling up now with the K&N air filter oil. So all you, all we do is um, just liberally spray the oil all over the filter element. And we do the same for the other side. And that's pretty much it, and that's ready for um, installation. So with everything put back together, I'm going to start her up and see if it's running properly. Hopefully there's no um, check engine light. Okay, uh, from what I noticed actually, it um, starts up very well, a lot better than what I, what I uh, did when I had before the service. So something did change. Uh, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, so now I'm going to move on to the oil change. <laughs> 